we're on part six. Six, six Man, by now. Yeah. Yeah, over here. The part six showing off all of these incredible custom pieces. This is all centered around the Halo Championship Series final. In part one, we checked out 24 custom figures. They were all scaled down versions of people's cosplays in MCX4. Then we've been looking at work from Buster, Ryan, Townie, NSI, and today, Halo with a four, that's H4LO. Yep. Uh, I, I'm really excited about this one, particularly this, uh, this half jaw. So without Ooh. further ado, let's check out his work. So in the previous episode, we took a look at some really incredible customs, including one of the most lifelike figures I've ever seen. And today we're checking out Halo H4LO's figures in the previous, well actually in part one now, gosh it goes back a it's long been so way at this long point. Ago. In part one we had a look at these, these are the HCS figures that he created for the Halo Championship Series Final and if you want to check that out, check out part one, link down below. Today he sent us five more figures to review and what a selection. What They're, a nice like color scheme, honestly. They are. The, the whites leading into the like yep. darker blues. I'm really enjoying this. They're, and obviously the one we have to start with is Half Jaw, Shipmaster, Ratas Vedum. Wow, it's amazing. And this is a, whoop. Oh. Yep, I believe this is a full uh, LS conversion kit. Yes. And an LS plasma rifle. Mm -hmm. And man, LS has absolutely nailed this Halo 2 look for the helmet. And Halo has absolutely brought it to life with this paint job. As I've said, the guys have told me multiple times that working with white is a pain, mm. but man, it oh yeah, absolutely yeah. works. I would always avoid white with Warhammer painting. Oh my goodness, the, there's no peg hole. Yeah. Yeah, there's no peg hole and there's no peg hole in the head as well. That is what you call an authentic action figure. That's crazy. So this is a conversion kit you can buy from LS3D prints, right? Unpainted. Yes. Wow. That's very, very exciting. What a great place to start. Those blue accents are amazing. Oh, the little yellow details as well. The plasma rifle. Now we actually do have a scaled one like yep. this in Mega 4. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe, honestly, maybe their decision was influenced by how many of these were sprouting up in the community. You don't know. Oh, I'm gonna say like, so. I'd say a little bit, at least. That's awesome, man. What a badass figure. Where do you want to go for next, Strandy? Uh, I think we get this brute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just Sometimes it's about the 3D printed part. Sometimes it's just about the paint job. This is just a normal brute captain again with the uh, LS3D plasma rifle. I would love to see a brute version of this, the red. That would be awesome. It's like a balance between like gentle metallic and also just really mute colors. I really enjoy it. I just noticed that there is a red eye peeking out from there. So let's see if we can remove this helmet. down to the finest of details. Yo. So that is a Halo Wars 2, uh, you know, an actual mega Halo Wars 2 head. That's not LS3Ds. But I've never actually seen that. Yeah, I've, oh, he looks so sad. <laughs> Why do you look so sad, monkey? You don't have to fight. Go live on a farm. Oh man, go be born Stella with his wife. Oh, that's great. That's great, I love that. Then we've, we've got to show these two off together, yep. right? They're a little pair, these ODSTs. I believe I've shared these images before. I know I've shared some of these images before on my, on my Instagram story. Also, if you're an Instagrammer, just tag me in your Instagram posts. I share the majority of the ones I'm tagged in. It's, it's actually an easy um, leg up, which people do not utilize. Um, yeah, here we go, a red ODST, oof. And, and the colors are just ODST. good. They're just good colors. They're like, I don't see many people going for, like, it's, it's hard to describe, right? Like a glossy kind of matte, like, but but really dull, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's an interesting look. It's what you would expect for these, because Ooh, they're not going to be super slash. bright. No, look at that slash. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, this is realistic. This yeah, is what right. these colors would be if right. they were put on military people. To just show, like, squad, yep. uh, like squad not, leaders, squad mechanic. You're not mechanic, getting the whatever. super bright yeah, yellows. Medic. No, you wouldn't, would you? No, Th these are realistic. Like, uh, I love Pip Ninja Armory, but, like, no, no actual Spartan soldier is going to go into battle like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, these two ODSTs, yeah, they bring it back to Earth, back to New Mombasa. And they're fighting this brute in the street. Like, they all feel like they're from the same story, which I really do. I appreciate the consistency there. This one, uh, it's like, this is a little more believable. If it was, Arctic. Yeah, if it was working at a permanent military Arctic base and it was like, it needed that constant camo, mm -hmm. then I could see that being a thing. And so this is 
Halo's personal figure. His ah, his signature fig. build. Yeah, yep. his signature fig. That's cool. I don't actually think I knew before that everybody has like their signature build. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I need to research that more. I'd love you if you have an Instagram account. Also, just tag me with your signature build. That would be really cool. Uh, yeah, just a load of great camo. A tiny little tack pad painted on. Just, it, it goes a long way. It's lovely. And, and the visor. Yeah, mm. the helmet is LS3D prints. Uh, it's one of the versions. So is the FJ legs. So you can buy some of this on LS3D store. I don't know if this weapon is his. Or is that yeah. just, yeah. Yeah, yep, I think that weapon is his. Gosh, it looks so good. This camera honestly makes these figures look so good. I'm very happy about it. Also, Strandy wanted to point out that this coating here, Buster's also made a very similar coating. So you tell me which is better. I genuinely- Nah, what's that? No, I mean, no. No, but really though, there's like they're they're both impeccable. It's fun to see the artistic flair. Yeah, that two like, people can look at something and go, "This is mm, how I'm going to do it." Buster's is a bit more chaotic. This is a bit more minimal, but they're both, yeah, super super fresh. So, so fresh. one real quick thing, I know these three will appreciate it. Is Ab this a squad? Absolute trio. Oh really? Buster, NSI, and Halo. I know Halo was looking for some photos of this, so I think he'll appreciate it. Oh, really? This so these are the three signatures of those three customizers? That we have, yeah. Oh, that's sick, dude. Ghost Look at that. Go get yours in. Come on, Strandy. Uh, Come on, Strandy, it. get it in I'll the picture. Right it's a group photo. <laughs> They're awesome. They're awesome. Uh, I've, to be honest, I've learned a lot about the custom creator community uh, on Instagram a lot over the last, uh, I don't know how long we've been filming now, five or six hours? And then just to top it off, yeah. My shorty. Look how short his legs are compared to the rest. Uh, <laughs> that is a squad not to be handled lightly. Very nice. So that is just about it for today's showcase. What's Look at that. What's next? What's on the Five next? Five beautiful figures. What's next? Yeah, what's next? Wake up, samurai. We got some mega blocks to burn. <laughs> Join us next time for the final in this seven part episodic series. I feel like I've, uh, yeah, learned so much about the MCX uh, Instagram community while I've been doing this. So shout out to you all, you stay awesome, you stay safe, and Ratas Vadam, the shipmaster, is signing off.